In this video, we will solve the system of linear equations using the Gaussian elimination. And so let's get started. Um, I wrote that this is equation one, this is equation two, and this is equation three. And when we solve Gaussian elimination, there's a few steps that we need to do. So the first one is this. So I will take the first equation, one, and I will divide by the coefficient of x1, meaning I will divide by four. So let's write this step down. So divide by the coefficient of x1, meaning it's gonna be four. And so when we divide this equation by four, we get x1 minus one over four x2 plus 1 over 2 x3 is equal to 3. I'm going to call this equation right here 1a. And now I will multiply 1a by the negative coefficient of 2 and then add them. So let me write that down. So I will take 1a, I will multiply by negative coefficient of 2, meaning this, of 2, and add to 2, and add to the second equation. So this is what I'm going to do here. So I will take 1a and multiply by the coefficient of 2. So I have a 3 here, right? I will multiply this right here by negative 3. I will multiply 1a by negative 3 and then add to this equation. And when we do this, we eliminate this 3x1. So we have less unknown. We'll have two unknowns this way, x2 and x3. So again, let me repeat this. I will take this equation right here. I will multiply it by negative 3, the negative coefficient of this, and then add it to the second equation. And when we do that, we get 35 divided by 4 x2 minus 7 divided by 2 x3 is equal to negative 29. Now, this is important. Now, I would recommend pausing the video here and making sure that you get this. And just to recap, I took equation 1a, I multiplied it by the negative coefficient of equation 2, and then I add it to equation two. So I'm not gonna show you guys how we got each term. I'd recommend you guys to pause here and try that yourself. But for example, I multiplied the three by negative three, and I add it here. So negative three times three is negative nine. Negative nine plus negative 20 is negative 29. And it's the same thing for this term and this term here. And so we will call this 2b. Next, I will multiply 1a, equation 1a, this equation right here, by the negative coefficient of equation three, this equation right here. So multiply by negative coefficient of three and add to three. So equation three, we have a one in the front for x1, so we would simply be multiplying this equation, 1a, by negative 1. So x1 becomes negative x1 plus x1. So we get 0 x1, right? And so we would ultimately get, when we do this step, is 5 divided by 4 x2 plus 5 divided by 2 x3 is equal to 7. Um, and again, Definitely pause the video, make sure you know how to get this term right here. Um, I'll just show you how we get the seven. So we multiply this equation here by negative one. So three becomes negative three. Negative three plus 10 is seven. So we will call this um, equation as two C. So next we will take equation two B, this one right here, and we will divide by its coefficient in front, 35 over four. So let's write that down. 2b, we divide by coefficient. 
and in our case it's 35 over 4 so we will divide 35 over 4 all across here so we would get x2 minus 2 over 5 um, x3 I got this number because negative 7 over 2 divided by 35 over 4 would give us negative 2 over 5 and again definitely check um, you know, using a calculator or something is equal to we would get negative 116 over 35 um, we will call this equation 2b b and next we will multiply 2b b by the negative coefficient of 2c and then combined meaning we multiply this equation right here by negative 5 over 4 this way x2 would cancel out and so let's write that down so we will take 2b b we will multiply by negative coefficient of 2c and combine so we would get 3x3 is equal to 78 over 7 simply divide by 3 divide by 3 then x3 becomes 3.714 so this is the final answer for x3 next we will plug um, this x3 3.714 back to equation you could do 2bb you could do 2b you could do 2c either of these three equations would work because we know x3 and we will solve for x2 so let's write that down so plug x3 back to equation uh, 2bb or 2c or 2b I chose 2bb and so I would get x2 minus 2 over 5 parentheses x3 was 3.714 is equal to negative 116 over 35 um, this way x2 would equal negative 1.829 um, now the last step the last step should be very easy we can plug it almost anywhere so plug back you know essentially anywhere um, what I chose was I chose this equation right here x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 10 the very original equation but pretty much any of the other equations would have also worked so when I do that I get x1 minus 1.829 plus 3 parentheses 3.714 is equal to 10 from here we would get x1 is equal to 0 0.687 and this right here would be the final answer and you know just to prove that these three answers are correct I will use my TI Inspire CX cost to check so menu add calculator we hit menu here algebra uh, solve systems of equations one um, we have three equations and our unknowns are x1 comma x2 comma x3 first equation was 4 times x1 minus x2 plus 2 times x3 is equal to 12 um, the second equation was 3 times x1 plus 8 uh, times x2 minus 2 times x3 is equal to negative 20 uh, finally last one x1 plus x2 plus 3 times x3 is equal to 10 finally we hit control enter and so x1 was 0 0.686 x2 was negative 1.829 and x3 was 3.714 we got um, essentially the same answer x2 was exact x3 was exact x1 we got 0 0.687 so it was off by about 0 0.001 so very small amount and that's all you need to do to solve this problem using the Gaussian elimination method